Hey, how's it going? Um, I am back to make a video about patch and diff, uh, as I promised in my last video. So I'm just going to go over uh, how they work and how to apply patches to something like DWM. Uh, so first of all, why would you want patches? So something like DWM or any other suckless utilities are by default very bare, minimal programs. Um, they just have the main function that they are for. Uh, and any extra stuff you can add in yourself. So that way uh, I don't have to, you know, get a program that has a ton of features that I don't need, but I can just apply those features that I do specifically want uh, and only get those. So that is what patches are for. And I pulled up the uh, patches page here for DWM. Uh, and obviously you can read through and, you know, there's a ton of patches here. You can figure out whatever you want and you want to get. Uh, I've just got two here that I'm going to go through today. Uh, one of which is going to be a very simple patch that will just work with the patch command and we won't have to do anything else. Uh, the other of which is the status CMD and I actually wanted to revisit this since obviously uh, I mentioned this in my last video uh, and I think I said that you wouldn't need to do anything manual to get this to work and uh, that was a lie. I am sorry. Uh, you will have to do one manual change so that is why I wanted to specifically go over status CMD to show how that one manual change will work. Uh, it's very simple. I guarantee you will understand it. It is not complicated at all. Um, but let's just start with this uh, bar height patch here. Uh, I am in my DWM directory here. So uh, this is just a fresh one that I downloaded, uh, but just go to wherever you have installed DWM. And of course, to do patches, you are going to need to install and build it yourself. Uh, you can't just get it from Arch repositories or whatever. Just use uh, git clone and then uh, the link from suckless.org. Um, and just go to that directory. All right, so I am in that directory uh, and I'm just gonna go ahead and get this .diff file that I'm gonna need for this patch. Uh, and all I need to do is just curl dash O and then uh, that .diff file. And while I'm at it, I'm just gonna get this other one for status CMD as well. Uh, I'm gonna want this one, but you can just read and get whatever you need. Okay, so now I should have both of these .diff files here, and indeed I do. I've got a .diff and a .diff for both of those ones I just downloaded. Uh, and let's actually just start by looking at this .diff file. Um, and, you know, I haven't yet explained what we're actually doing when we use patch and diff files. So what we're really doing is just um, patch is just going to look through this .diff file and say, all right, at this, you know, context of these lines, at this line number, uh, around these lines, add in this new line of code here that's going to change how something functions or, you know, uh, configure something, whatever. Um, and that's going to be in the config.def.h file in this case. Uh, we also have a change in the dwm.c file uh, and it's saying, all right, around these line numbers at these, you know, these lines here are just going to be the context that it's looking for. Uh, so remove this one line here and then add this other line. Uh, and patch is going to automatically do this for us. Of course, you could go through and just read a diff file and say, all right, I understand what needs to get done here and just do it yourself. Uh, but we can actually just do this with one single command, which is patch. Uh, so I can just do patch and then dwm dash bar height uh, dot diff. And obviously you want to do this in the directory that you have your config.dev.h and your dwm.c in. Uh, or just point it to the correct directory. Uh, anyways, you can see this patched these two files, hunk number one succeeded. Great, so this patch worked perfectly. If I just go ahead and open that uh, config.def.h file here, you'll see um, we have this new line here uh, for the user bar height uh, that we just patched in. So perfect, that is you know the ideal case of how a patch would work. Uh, it's literally one command to install that patch. Uh, and of course, I could just now uh, do a sudo uh, make clean install to go ahead and rebuild this uh, since, you know, it's just an example. I'm not going to rebuild mine. Um, however, uh, just talking a little bit more about the uh, diff command itself. Uh, so we have the command, if it's not just the extension, we have the command. Uh, and that command is for comparing files line by line. Um, there's a lot of different use cases for this, and this uh, patching uh, happens to be one of them. Uh, however, what we can do here, um, so if I ls, you'll see we have dwm.c. We also have uh, dwm.c.original, so it's going to save that original uh, without the patches. So that's the pre-patched version. And if I were to just do uh, diff-u here, uh, from uh, dwm.c um, to dwm.c.original, you'll see here, all right, so this is actually the reverse of what we did um, to get from this dwm.c, this patched version, 
back to this original version. We're going to remove this line and add this line. And of course, if I wanted to just reverse those, we'll see uh, the diff file essentially that we had in the first place. Um, and yeah, so if I reverse them, you'll see, all right, to get from that original to the patched, remove this line, add this line. Uh, and what we could do here, if you ever wanted to make a patch file, uh, you can just uh, send that into a, you know, patch.diff. And if I go ahead and uh, look at this patch.diff here, this is essentially going to be that .diff file we had. This is just saying, all right, remove this line, add this line around that context. It's going to give the line numbers. Um, and of course, that uh, diff file we had, the one we downloaded, has also the uh, difference in uh, config.def.h as well. This is just for dwm.c. But that is just a basic explanation of how the diff command itself works. Um, anyways, and what we can also do here is if we wanted to reverse a patch, we could just do uh, patch dash r and then dwm uh, dash bar height diff here. Uh, and this is just going to reverse uh, direction patch essentially. It's going to uh, and, and I specifically showed these in two orders so that you can see, you know, it's just doing the same thing, but, but in reverse. So that's why we're just, you know, repatching it, but in reverse. And now if I just look at a config.def.h here, you'll see that line we patched in. Now it's gone. We, we patched in the reverse because the reverse is just removing that line instead of adding it. Uh, anyways, so we also have that uh, status cmd.diff uh, patch that I wanted to show here. Um, and this one, well, I can try to just do patch uh, normally with that here. Uh, however, all right, so it, it, it succeeded for most of these hunks, but one of them, hunk number two here, that failed at line 207. So it says, you know, one out of nine hunks failed, saving regex to file dwm.c.reg. Uh, and you're not getting to go like look up why it failed or anything. You can just go read this file because this file is gonna tell you exactly what went wrong here. So this file is just gonna say, all right, uh, it was supposed to be at line 207. Uh, and, and this dot read file is just the piece of the diff that didn't work. Uh, so it was supposed to be at line 207 here. It was supposed to be, you know, with this context for uh, these three lines above and then add in this line here and then these three lines below. But, you know, for whatever reason, it couldn't, patch couldn't figure out where those lines were in our dwm.c file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, dwm.c here. Uh, and I'll just go down to line 207 where this is supposed to be at here. Okay, so you can see, all right, this is clearly, you know, it's the right place. We've got a fair amount of this stuff here. So we've got the static void set urgent show hide that it's starting with here. Um, we've got, you know, below it, we've got the spawn uh, tag, tagmon. Um, so in, in this single line here is what's throwing it off. This is the one line that uh, we don't have in the dwm.c file here. And, you know, whoever made this patch uh, had that but you know, we don't have that here. So we, it's, it's very clear that this line is just supposed to be in between these other lines here. Uh, and in this case, I guess I could kind of put it, you know, anywhere around here, but I'll just try to do it as you know closely as possible. So I think it's supposed to be right here at line 208. So I'll just go ahead and yank this line and paste this in here. Um, so that now is going to be correctly patched. If I go ahead and write this, and quit that or that, I could just go ahead and do uh, sudo make clean install to install with status cmd here uh, with that patch. Um, but just to talk a little bit more about this uh, rejected file here, generally, uh, if you, you know, have, a, you know, something simple where it's like one line failed and, you know, you can read these context clues and say, okay, yeah, clearly it was supposed to be in that place. And, you know, it just got thrown off by this one line here that, you know, I don't have, but I, I do have all these other lines, so clearly it was, you know, just supposed to be in that place and patch got confused because of the one line. Um, once you start to have a bunch of patches and it gets more complicated because you've changed a lot of different lines in, you know, your configuration files or your .c or whatever you're patching into, um, once you've changed a bunch of different lines, they've gotten rearranged or you've, you know, replaced lines, added lines, whatever, uh, then it's going to start being harder for patch to find where stuff is supposed to go because the .diff files are probably going to be based on, you know, something that doesn't have all of the different patches. Um, and so then you're going to have to start going through and manually doing a little bit more detective work to figure out where the lines are supposed to go. Um, 
but you know in general uh unless you're doing you know a crazy amount of patching you shouldn't have too much trouble uh i've never yet had a patch where i had like significant trouble figuring out where anything was supposed to go um of course if you do have like a, a patch that's going to conflict with another patch like if you have two different patches that are trying to essentially do the same thing i guess there could be a, a case where something conflicts with something else um but in general if you're just getting started with patching you'll you probably won't have too many issues at first um but of course you know if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh and hopefully this video video taught you a little bit about patching uh how the patch and diff commands work uh and will get you started with patching dwm or dwm blocks or whatever you're trying to patch anyway so yeah hope this helped you out hope you enjoyed and have a great rest of your day here uh i'll see you again soon peace